Hi, and welcome back to Love on the Cocoa Kitchen. Well, if you love apple pie, but you don't really want all those excess carbs and fats that often come with the pastry, well, you might want to try this recipe. It's a healthy way to get those delicious apple pie flavors. And apples, of course, are very good for you. The saying, an apple a day keeps a doctor away is, is a good saying because apples can actually protect you from many major diseases. And besides that, they're a good source of fiber and they keep you feeling fuller for longer as well. It's good to eat the skin as well as the flesh because the skin contains a lot of the vitamins and they are good cooked as well as raw and baking them in the oven this way you use the entire apple with the skin and everything so all we do is remove the core two medium apples or you could use three or four small apples so we just need to take the core out which is easiest with an apple corer which you can easily buy anywhere So there we go, core out of that one. There we have the apple cores and of course you can eat um, whatever is on the core there so you don't have to throw it away and then you're left with apples with a nice hole in the middle. So and if there's any little bits of the core left you can just cut them out with a knife. Okay, so we can just put the apples aside for a sec. Now I'm going to make um, the crumble mixture, which gives you the taste of both apple pie and apple crumble in a really healthy way. Because we're going to use healthy walnuts and almonds and a bit of oat flour. Just a few. And an eighth of a cup of almonds as well. So now I'm just going to crush them. Okay, so once the nuts are crushed, so some are fine and some are a bit bigger, just for texture. Then we're going to add oat flour, just about an eighth of a cup. And oat flour is just blended oats. So let's put that. I'm just going to put in a little bit of coconut sugar for a bit of sweetness and of course apples are already like fairly sweet so we don't really need a lot of sugar in this so one teaspoon should be enough and then we're going to add some spices to give it that apple pie taste so I'll just put half a teaspoon of cinnamon teaspoon of ginger and spices of course are very good for you in many ways including boosting the immune system and lowering blood pressure and blood sugar so it's worth putting some spices in whenever you're baking something and we'll just put in a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves Cloves are actually really good for the teeth and gums. And they're good if you have a toothache as well, a bit of clove oil. And I'm also going to put in some nutmeg. Just got fresh nutmeg. I'll just grate that. It's got a better flavour if you grate it fresh. And just to bring out the flavours, just a little pinch of salt. Now we want to bind that all together. So I'm going to use some coconut oil, so um, two teaspoons. It's just a matter of mixing it so that it's all combined and makes sort of like a paste. Once it's done, you just set that aside. Now we're going to make the custard part of the filling. Half a cup of cashews which have been soaked in boiling water about 20 to 30 minutes. And so drain that is. Okay, 
To this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of almond milk. I have a can of coconut cream. I'll just add three tablespoons of the cream. Roughly three tablespoons. So I've mostly used the cream from the top of the can. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of water in it. We need about a teaspoon of lemon zest. And a tablespoon of lemon juice. A bit more juice out of that. If you want to get some extra juice out of the lemon, it's easy just to get a spoon and run it around the lemon and then just take the seeds out but then you can just scrape off the extra juice and a bit of the lemon flesh which gives it a nice flavor and this time for a bit of sweetness i just put a teaspoon of maple syrup as you can see i'm not really using much sugar in this at all because the apples are sweet enough but if you have really sour apples, then you can add a little more if you think it needs more. But try to stick to the minimum amount. All right, so now just a teaspoon of vanilla. Once again, just a little pinch of salt to bring out the flavor. Now we just have to blend it till it's smooth. So there we have a nice, smooth, custard-like mixture. We have the fun part, which is to assemble our apple pies. So you just need some foil. Okay, we're just going to put foil around each apple. Like that, so you can work with it. Okay, now we get our crumble mix that we made before. Now we've just got to put some into the hole in the apple. So a few teaspoons. And then get the back of the spoon and just press it down firmly. Just press it down and then, as you'll see, it's become like a plug in the bottom. So just do that with the other one. Right, next we take our custard mixture and just carefully pour that into the hole in the apple. So just fill it up to the top. And do the same with the other one. Okay, so now I'll just get a little more crumble and just put a bit more on the top and press it down. It doesn't matter if it falls down the sides. All right, so there we have assembled the apple pies. So I just have to close up the foil. Doesn't have to be too tight, just close it up. All right, so now we have to bake the apples at about 200 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes until they feel tender. While they're cooking, you can just put the custard in the fridge just to chill a little. Okay, I've just got the apples out. They've been in about 35 minutes. So you can see if you prick it with a knife, the knife goes in easily. So that means that the apple is pretty much cooked. So now we'll do the next bit. So just open up the foil a little bit. So I'm just going to put on a bit more of the custard because the custard inside there will have set now. So you want to get some that's a little more runny. So just spoon some over the top. Okay, 
It's okay if it goes down. Right. Whatever's left we can serve with the finished apple. And so just put the rest of the crumble in. Close up the foil again. And then just put it back in the oven for about five more minutes. Apple pies are done. So you just open the foil and you can see what they look like now. So they'll have a set custard in the middle and a more liquid custard on the outside. And whatever's left over here, you can pour on the top or you could serve it with your favorite vegan ice cream as well, it would be nice. And that makes a really delicious and satisfying dessert. And it's a very healthy way to enjoy apple pie. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.